doing tremendously well with its Global Innovation Index, and we are becoming better day by day. This is all because of the efforts and initiatives taken by the department, led by our dignified, dignified panelists. We have with us Mr. Jeet from Meeti Startup Hub. So Meeti Startup Hub has been doing phenomenal work around the startup ecosystem. Could you tell us something about it, please? No, th thank you so much, and uh, I think you'll do wonderful. Just relax. Okay. <laughs> no, but first of all, I think uh, when we when we look at this, you know, sitting here today and uh, heard from the Honorable CM and the Minister, uh, Goa is literally bring us back to life. Goa has always had the free spirit and the opportunity for us to start living the normal life by organizing an event like this. I think it's a great boost, great uh, accolades to uh, your team, and uh, I think what the, you know, Ankita and the team here is doing. Now, Azadi Ke Amrit Mahasav, when we look at India at 75, you know, becoming the second largest startup ecosystem in the world with 50 unicorns and plus. More and more unicorns are being born faster and faster. Now look back 2016, five years ago. It was the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister that India will be built on the intellect of its youth and that within five years we have accomplished so much. Now imagine what five more years later will look like and when we talk about 2047, 100 years, where would India be? So truly it is these events, truly it is these initiatives, it is truly these efforts that no one really sees it, right? The guys and girls sitting in the back rows there, right? They are the dreamers, they are the builders, we are the enablers. So now what is Mighty doing? So under our honorable prime minister, every department, every ministry in the government has been working tirelessly, be it uh, MSME, be it uh, Niti Aayog, be it Mighty. So at Mighty, we have supported 51 odd incubators. We have set up 26 centers of excellence in deep technologies. We have funded multiple of accelerators. And we understand the pain of a startup. That a startup needs funding all the way from idea level to a scaling level. So our schemes fund from idea level and EIR grants that are given. Then for product and prototype development, and up to 40 lakh in scale funding. Even just two weeks ago, we sanctioned 45 different startups getting 40 lakh each for scale funding. Now that's just one scheme that we have. Now out of those 45, you know, there are validated ideas, so something good will come out of it. Second, we last week our honorable uh, minister, Ashwini Vaishnav sir, he launched a new scheme called Samrith under which we'll be looking to support 300 odd startups and giving them funding of up to 40 lakhs each again. The point is that it's not a lack of funding in India. There's a plenty of funding, but funding only goes to validated startups in the late stage growth. But it's the young guys and girls who are still building their idea, building their product, they don't get the funds, and that's where the role of the government comes in. It's twofold, where Mighty is working very hard. One is to enable reduction in uh, hurdles, so make it easy to work, ease of doing business for a startup by changes in regulations and rules by working in interministerial groups. Second is by providing funding wherever possible. We, are, we even have a fund of fund called Electronic Development Fund, which is managed by CanBank. It provides large funding to growth level funds, growth level companies through VC funds. We are even looking to set up another fund of fund for software product development companies. Because the idea is India should translate from being an IT services country to software product company, uh, country. Why do we rely on Western products all the time for our software needs? Why can't we build our own and be the national and world-class leaders? So we are working on that. Now lastly, under our honorable chief uh, uh, minister, Ashwini Vaishnav sir, he's uh, asked us that, you know, why, what does India have? India has only 500, 600, 700 incubators at this point. Why can't we not take it to 10x? China has more than 4,000. Indian population is pretty high, and incubator doesn't mean you need to set up some extravagant infrastructure and a lot of labs. It's only an enabling environment where like-minded people can come, share some resources, get some enthusiasm, and get connects. So our minister has tasked us with envisioning a 10x growth in the number of incubators we set up. 
So we are working on new programs and new vision to figure out how do we take the incubator ecosystem that har gali gali mein hona chahiye, har kisi entrepreneur. So our minister says right that life is a right, liberty is a right, opportunity to explore your dream is also a right for every youth of our country. And this is what our minister is seeking to provide and I think that is what our honorable prime minister has been saying and I think that's what our honorable CM has said here in Goa and I really appreciate when he went to, to the back end and he met with all the startups and youngsters sitting back. I think it's a leadership of people like these at the central level and the state level I think where tremendous work can be realized. So again, thank you so much for organizing this and uh, my request to the startup sitting in the back is that you know anything you ever need, there's ton of resources, ton of support, you just need to reach out because we are here to enable you. Thank you.